we'll quickly see how to make a proper table in latex with proper boundaries and everything in the most easiest possible way and you can change it you can make uh, you can make changes you can customize it later according to your own requirements uh, once you get the concept so let's start now we will begin by writing begin actually uh, so begin table this is what we're going to going to do so instead of throwing this um, throwing this code at you i'm going to remove it and i'm going to write it myself step by step so that you can understand it better while i'm doing it first of all we will start by writing centering here so centering means that your table will be aligned in the center okay so if you are writing something in one column format it will be aligned in the center of the page and if you are writing let's say you're writing a research paper which has two columns here right so this table will be aligned in the center of whichever column you are writing in. so it will automatically be centered in one column moving on let's write caption so what do we call it? let's say easiest table and let's uh, now make the columns so for columns we have to write begin and tabular here we go begin tabular again i'm going to remove this code so let's define how many columns do we have and how do we want them so for that let's say i want to make a table with three columns right so now what does this mean this means first of all that my table has three columns secondly this table has a proper boundary by this you can see this pipe operator here and here this is saying that you have a proper boundary and you also have the lines that will be differentiating between the uh, columns so so these are actually the lines that will be visible the boundaries and i'll show you i'll demonstrate this once we compile the code so you will see it better you'll understand it better now uh, one more thing i have written l here l means that whatever will be there in this column it will be aligned to the left of the column and c means uh, again in the center of the column so you, you can do it the, whatever way you want whatever your requirement is now after doing this i want we will start our table and before starting the table i want a horizontal line here so these are actually the vertical lines in the table and i also want horizontal lines so we are making a table with proper boundaries only if you want to make the proper boundaries if you don't want to do that remove this edge line here and remove the, this first and last pipe operator now let's write the heading of our the header of our table so we want the text of our header to be bold so i've written text pf let's say the heading of first column is serial number so i've written sr dot now i have to write and because this differentiates between the two columns and it means that now we are writing the content for the second column so again the heading of second column is bold so i've written text pf and let's say the heading is data set type now let's write the heading of the uh, third column and again let's bold it. it let's say it is quantity after that we have to enter the next line and we all know that the code for next line in latex is double slash double backslash and after that i want another horizontal line because i want a proper defined line after the header heading line as well so i've written backslash the h line now let's fill in the content of our table so let's say for the first row uh, the first row first column has one and then the first row second column has training and first row third column has this amount the quantity again now double backslash for new line and backslash h line for a horizontal line after the end of this row now let's write the second row and there you go your table is done all right um, now let's say if you want to give a label to this table you can write label tab let's say example or whatever label you want to give it you can write that here if you want a caption at the end of the table you don't want the caption here you want it at the end of the table you can just cut it from here and you can paste it here so it will be visible at the bottom of the table so if you want that you can do you can write it here at the bottom if you want the caption to be visible at the top of the table you have to write it before the table right and your table is completed so let's compile it this is our table you can see it 
uh, this is the first column second and third and this these are the boundaries so if you remove these lines you won't see these boundaries you have to remove all the H lines as well I'll just show you with the first one so you see these boundaries are gone and, and the H line before the table you, you can remove all the others as well by removing these H lines here but uh, I don't like it I don't want to do that if you want to do that you can do it okay one more thing you can see that this is our page right and the table is shown at the bottom of that page and we don't want that we want it here right uh, let's say this is this is the beginning of our column oh sorry our page let's say uh, there is a lot of text here I'm just gonna write some text here so that you can see what do I mean so you can see this is this the beginning of the page the table should appear here here right here not there at the end so how do we solve this issue so to solve this you just have to write age here and once you write this you will get an error here that this is not defined or something see this error unknown float option so you also have to add a package name as use package float so just add this and write age here that will make your that this means that the call the table will appear at the precise location right here see so it, it just shifted here right here so there you go the most easiest table ever I think so let me know if this helped you